You're watching PNN, the Parody News Network. Hello and welcome to PNN. I'm Tony Participle. We have breaking news here at the top of the hour. A local teenager has become the first human ever to travel through time. A staggering scientific breakthrough that could transform our understanding of time, space, and the very nature of the universe. For more on this developing story, we go to our senior correspondent, Emily Pluperfect. Emily, what are you hearing? Yes, good evening, Tony. A stunning series of events here tonight as Hill Valley High School senior Martin McFly has apparently broken through the time-space continuum and has traveled through time. Now, details are still sketchy at this hour, but from what we've been told, McFly used some sort of time machine to travel from 1985 to 1955 and then back to 1985. Now, the time machine in question apparently is an original design by local inventor Dr. Emmett Brown. Evidently, Brown remained behind while McFly undertook the trip alone, although we do not yet know the reason for this. Also unclear is whether or not McFly may have somehow altered reality by interfering with events in the past and thus contaminating the timeline. We'll keep an eye on that for now. Tony? All right, thank you, Emily. Astonishing stuff. We're going to go right now to our senior scientific correspondent, Professor Nigel Dykesis. Professor, without knowing the specifics of how this particular time machine works, how theoretically might someone make this incredible journey? Hello, Tony, and thanks for having me on. Now, I would speculate that whatever vehicle transported this young man back in time, it was most likely powered by a flux capacitor. Now, in its simplest terms, a flux capacitor... I'm terribly sorry to cut you off, Professor, but it appears we have more breaking news on this story. We go back to Emily Pluperfect. Emily, what's happening? Well, Tony, apparently there has been another time travel journey undertaken. You'll recall that we reported that Martin McFly traveled through time in a device invented by Dr. Emmett Brown. We're being told now that for this journey, McFly, Brown, and an unidentified female have made the journey together. Wow. So Emily, is there any indication of where, or pardon me, when they've journeyed this time? Is it the 50s or 1999? Well, Tony, we're getting word that McFly and Brown have traveled from 1985 to 2015. It is unknown at this hour what their agenda may be, or whether the time machine is capable of traveling in anything other than 30-year increments. We'll keep you posted as we get word. Back to you. Okay, thank you, Emily. Professor Texas, my apologies. Please continue. Well, as I was saying, it wouldn't surprise me at all if the time machine was powered by a flux capacitor, which is what would make time travel possible. What is a mystery is what will provide the massive amounts of energy that would be needed for the flux capacitor. And how much energy are we talking? Conservatively, somewhere between 1.19 gigawatts and 1.22 gigawatts. Now, to understand how much power is contained in a single gigawatt... Pro professor, Professor, once again, I apologize for cutting you off, but we have an update to this story just coming in now. Emily? Tony, we have just received word that an as-yet unidentified individual illegally used the time machine to travel from 2015 to 1955 and through his or her actions disrupted the flow of time and created an alternate reality. So when original time travelers Martin McFly and Dr. Emmett Brown returned from 2015 to 1985, they emerged in an alternate 1985. Now, as to why the unnamed individual returned from 1955 to the original 2015, as logic dictates that it would have been an alternate 2015 for that individual as well, effectively trapping McFly and Brown in the original 2015 with no time machine to return home. Now, we are being informed that McFly and Brown plan on traveling from the alternate 1985 to 1955 to prevent time stream contamination. Back to you. We'll keep you posted. Wow. Crazy stuff indeed. Thank you, Emily. Professor Dykes, your take on Emily's report. Well, 
I'm sorry, Professor, hold that thought. We have yet another update on this fast evolving story. We go back to Emily Blueperfect. Emily, what's the latest? Well, Tony, in our last report, we noted that Martin McFly and Dr. Emmett Brown were traveling from the alternate 1985 to 1955 in order to restore the natural flow of time. And we are now told that they were successful in doing so. But for reasons unknown, Dr. Brown traveled from 1955 to 1885 without McFly, leaving McFly stranded in time. You'll remember, however, that there is a Dr. Brown in 1955 who can help Martin travel back safely to 1985 and end this adventure. Wow. With all these potentially damaging time incursions, it seems like maybe they should have made that first trip to the past and back to the future and been done with it. That is the general consensus from most of the people I've spoken to, Tony, but we are committed to following this story through to the end. We'll just have to hope for the best. Back to you. Thank you, Emily. Okay, we've just been made aware of an Instagram post from Dr. Emmett Brown. Let's take a look at it here. The post reads, It's a science experiment and appears to show an Old West era locomotive pushing a DeLorean. Professor Dykes, any thoughts on what we're seeing here? Well, if the DeLorean is your time machine, then you'd have to get her up to approximately 88 miles per hour in order to engage the flux capacitor. But if for some reason she couldn't get up to 88 miles per hour under her own steam, then your only other option would be to push it with a train. But could trains of that era reach speeds like that? Well, I suppose if you had a straight stretch of track on a long level grade and you weren't hauling any cars behind you, and if you can get the fire hot enough, I mean hotter than the blazes of hell and damnation, well, sure, why not? You could probably get it up that fast. Well, hopefully that will be a smooth and uneventful ride for them. Okay, I understand we have another update coming in. That's right, Tony, and it looks like this will be our last bit of news for now. We understand that Martin McFly has successfully returned to 1985 and that the time machine, which we can now confirm was a DeLorean, has been destroyed. Shortly after the DeLorean's destruction, there were unconfirmed sightings of a flying, time-traveling train. Make of that what you will. Tony? Okay, thanks, Emily. We will be updating this story throughout the night. If any new information comes to light, stay tuned. We'll be right back. been watching PNN, the parody news that...